Yo, 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 what is up, my fellow tubers? Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another video for your... Man, I took the day off today. <coughs> I spent the whole morning doing yard work, though. I had so much yard work to do, it's, it's silly. But anyways, this is a video... Mail day. I was almost going to say response. I don't know why. Uh, mail day that I got from Mike O Face. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Can you guys name that movie <laughs> where I get that O Face from? But Mike O. Uh, so this was a drunk purchase. All right. Like, it's rare that you'll ever catch me drinking. I, I don't drink a lot. And I definitely don't smoke weed but anyways uh so i was drunk one day and this is why i tell people i don't do auctions like if you do an auction on youtube facebook whatever i want to buy every card if i'm drunk and i've been known to do that i know that for myself you get me drunk at an auction, and I'll be buying everything, even if I can't afford it. It's, um, like, my only sin. But anyways, Michael, so, I bought a bunch of, um, Mickey Mantle cards from his auction. Alright, you so, basically, I was under drunk, he just started showing a bunch of modern, more modern, uh, Mickey Mantle cards. And was my first impulse? I'll buy them all. <laughs> I just said, I'll buy them all. But I guess other people had already bid or put in for, a, like, you just say I want it or put the price, whatever, and you get the card in his auction. So I guess a bunch of people had already um, picked out some of the cards before I said, I'll just take them all. So I ended up getting the leftovers from my, oh, 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 oh. Uh, face and um, so it's a bunch of Mickey Mantles. So because I bought this and I just thought it was time, uh, my stepson, he, my son, he went to the Frankensons, are are almost like our LCS, but it's like a collectible show. It has toys and everything, and um, he goes there for the anime. He was going on his own, and he was going for the anime. He, you know, that's his thing. And so, when he was going, I told him, hey, um, buy me a two-row PSA box. And he was like, he didn't really understand what that meant. So I said, just ask him for a two-row box that you could put slabs in. So, he came back with this box, and I think it was three bucks, he said. But I gave him three or four bucks for this box. And so, I'm putting it together right now. <laughs> Because my Mickey Mantle box, I have my whole Mickey Mantle PC in a, and it's not sticking so well. Let me put this other part in a two row, in a one row box. Where is it at? Thought I, oh, here it is. So th all my Mickey Mantles, besides the slab cards, are in this box, but it's pretty full already. I can't really fit too many cards. And I have all these other cards that are floating around, like this one that I got from J.P. Wisco. One of one. You know, I got this, you know, because I have it in this screw down, or is it pinned down? I don't know. It's not really screws, it's just kind of locked in place. The 56 and a screw down. Have this guy so shiny. And man, this Project 70 card, which I don't want to take out of that um thing. Look at him. He just hit the ball and said, fuck you, ball. Fuck you, ball. Like, he put all, everything he had into that. Hit that ball the hell out of town. Another Project 70 Mickey Mantle. You know. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fit this uh, limited edition Kotex uh, when um, they went woke. And, um, so, anyways, I'm trying to put this box together. I think it goes like 
this this part how does it go oh i think it goes like this sorry man this is if you guys are still watching this why <laughs> this is such an awful video i think it goes like that all right so i'm putting this two roll box together and so anyways my um My Mickey Mantle PC is getting bigger. So, in the past, you know, I've only targeted uh, Plain Days Mickey Mantle. That's all I uh, really cared about. And that's all I was really, really pursuing. Alright, so, what ended up happening is, I need two more cards. I only need two more cards to meet that, um, my, almost like my card dream, <laughs> basically, that's really what it was in all definition, it was my card dream to collect all the Plain Days Mickey Mantles, tops, let me emphasize that, tops, I'm going only for the tops one, and, uh, I only need two more cards, I need the, Man, this is kicking my ass, guys. <laughs> and um, so I only need one more Mickey Mantle card. Two more Mickey Mantle cards. I'm not obviously I'm not going for the 52. I said this before. In the hobby to survive, you gotta act your wage. And um, the 52 Mickey Mantle is out of my wage. <laughs> so it's just not even a target, you know. Like man, if if I was really trying to pursue the 52 tops and just knew in my heart that I'll never be able to afford it, I would probably be a mess. I'd probably cry every night. So it's easier if you just say, like, hey, I'm never going to own it. I'm not. And that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I finally put it together. It's a two-row box that can hold, like, top loaders and slabs, I believe. All right. So let me show you. My Mickey Mantle checklist. All right, so I think I started this checklist. I almost want to say like 2016, 2017, probably 16. I don't know. And I just gave myself like 10 years, you know, to uh, get as much as this can I, as I could. But, you know, with the power of YouTube, it went it went a lot faster. So I only need two cards, the 61 and the 62 All-Stars, uh, Mickey Mantle. All right? So the reason I still have this checklist is, I don't know if, uh, about you guys, but... Oh, this... Every time, um, you know, there's VRs, contests, and stuff like that, I, I have a... Or I'm doing v, uh, giveaways... You know, <laughs> beyond cardboard. Like, so I've had this YouTube notebook, basically. I keep this on um, a, a couple of YouTube notebooks. You know, I mean, if you go through here, you'll see all kinds. Parkside LI-88. Who remembers that dude? Okay, since I'm doing this Mickey Mantle thing, Parkside LI-88, uh, like he, when he got on YouTube, like he was just getting back into the hobby again. Like he hardly had anything. And, um. He was a Mickey Mantle fan, and so he was like, oh, I'm going to PC Mickey Mantle, I'm, and man, that dude had like almost every Plain Days Mickey Mantle card like in a few months. He was just buying like high-grade slabs like nothing. This dude had some money. Uh, miss him, definitely miss him, a funny dude. So like I said, man, I just have these notebooks, you know, like this is probably from a VR that somebody had, and it's me writing down my favorite um, baseball movies. You know, so this is my list that I made like, man, this is probably like, you know, 2017, 18. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, you know what? When I pulled this out, you know, there's a bunch of other notebooks, you know, that I have from the past. Like this is the most recent one. Uh, for, uh, at one time I wrote this, you know, to remind me of all the VRs I need to make. You know what I mean? 
So, I mean, I have, uh, and all these are filled up. You know what I mean? These ones are all filled up. Oh, this is for when I uh, made a, a video, a fake video, basically. And this is me writing to Wade Bob, or Wade Bob's writing to me. All right, so, you know, um, I was heavily into the TTM um, uh, videos, but I didn't do TTMs, but I still found them amazing. Like, I wish I could do what they were doing. So this is one I, that Harold Baines wrote to me. So these are just like the, the me jotting them down real quick, the ideas uh, for these. This was uh, because I pretended like, if you guys aren't familiar with that video, what I did is just that I had some cards that I already had autographed. You know, I have a lot of autographs, not in slabs. So I just had a couple, you know, I had a few autographs and I said, I'm going to pretend that uh, these are TTMs, like I just send it out, and um, these are returns, basically, you know. So, you know, real quick, I just wrote up an idea, and then I would make the final copy, and I put it in an envelope, and I act like I'm receiving a TTM. And then, by, just by the stuff I was saying, you could tell I wasn't uh, serious, but there was a lot of people that, that took it serious, and they're like, oh, you just wrote a... You just, you know, ruined the card by signing it to pretend it. And like, but no, those are all real autographs, you know. Those those were all real autographs. And I just pretended that I was getting them as TTM returns. And I would write those letters. Uh, ooh, you guys want to see my very first YouTube Hall of Fame uh, list? Back when it was 15, I think. Uh, this should be the very first one. So this is my list. Let's see how many uh, people are actually still making videos. My first on my list was Yo Show Your Hits. He's no longer making videos. Puff Bear. All right. Um, I think he just started making a couple videos or something like that. I heard. Uh, Baseball Collector Mike. Uh, I, he had one of my first votes. Uh, DB Tiller. He doesn't make as many as he used to. DB Tiller's awesome, man. Uh, Iska fan. Doesn't really make videos anymore. You know, um, Baseball Card Junkies TV. They don't really make videos anymore. Serenity Sports Cards. Doesn't really make videos anymore. Michael does. Uh, Ricky Russo, rest in peace. This, uh, you know, um, these little notebooks, they're kind of nostalgic to me, all these YouTube notes that I had before, man, Ricky Russo was my homeboy, you know, um, legend in the YouTube community from back in the days, all right, and um, Mike Line TV, he's still going strong, uh, Ray from Philly, he's still going strong, All-Star Jersey Shop, he's gone, uh, he's, um does these card um, PSA submissions, uh, Card Cave Central, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, check out Card Cave Central, man. He does really good deals with um, PSA. And he lives right by there, so he takes them, he walks them in, like in person. He doesn't send them over the mail. He walks into the headquarters and uh, and um, submits them. Uh, Fox 7 he doesn't no, no longer make videos. Tommy Golf 85 doesn't make videos anymore. So that's kind of like a, a thing about I say uh, I say about YouTube. Like I always said, I go the average YouTuber lasts about three years, you know, about three years, and then they're, for whatever reason, they stop making videos. And check out this list: how many people still make videos? Like, what eighty percent of these people don't make videos anymore? You know, it's crazy. But oh, man, what was this video about? <laughs> oh yeah, Michael. Oh. All right, so. Let's open this up. So, like I said, this was a drunk purchase. You might even say this is a drunk video. All right. So, this envelope is really tight. You know, I'm not stupid. <laughs> so, when I get a big envelope and I, and I can feel that the cards are just like on this part, that's when I'll, I'll, I'm, I know it's safe to do the phone check, foo, phone check, foo. But when I get a, oh man, I hope I didn't just give his address. But when I get a envelope like this, and I could feel it, 
thick all the way, you know, all the way through, or the spot is too small to do phone check uh, accurately, I won't do that. All right, just to let you guys know, like a lot of people are like, oh my God, you're reckless. And like, you're going to put, it's like, I only do that to uh, packages that I know, like, I'm not going to damage it that way. Well, and this was like that all the way because it had the cardboard. All right, so. Quack, quack, quack. Hey, fool. Hey, fool. What's up, fisher? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so check it out. Threw in an extra Steve Jobs action. Sicko. I always jump into his um lives real quick. I just to say hi and I ask if they have a PSA Steve Jobs. He never does. The Donruss. Look at that baby. 89. Six Steve Jobs. <laughs> All right, so these are the Mickey Mantle card, um, modern cards. So, like I said, I've been collecting, and mainly what I buy, personally what I buy, is mainly uh, game day, game day, game career years, you know, uh, game play, playing days, Mickey Mantle. All right, man, I think I need another drink. I only buy basically on um, plain day Mickey Mantles. But like I said, man, YouTube is just a different, you know, it's a crazy hobby beast. Majority of the cards that I have in there that are modern were all gifts. They were all gifts because I rarely buy, rarely, I rarely buy modern, you know, uh, Mickey Mantles. So I would say 99% of them are from the community. You know, um, so luckily, you know, blessed to have a large modern Mickey Mantle to start off with. But now I'm going to start buying them, like consciously buying them just because um, I got to put them in order and maybe make a checklist, I guess. But down to my last two cards. And I had said before, I'm not going to buy any modern until I complete uh, my playing days run, except for the 52 tops. There's only tops cards playing runs. But uh, I'm just going to be a little bit more realistic and might as well just start buying some. Hey, I already did. Drunk buys right here. Drunk purchases. The Mickey Mano, like the Bowman rookie. Second year Bowman. <laughs> 52 Bowman. Uh, but sweet. Look at that. Chrome. So shiny. Two different. From the world's champions, A, A, Allen and Ginter. Uh, third one right there. I like that pose right there. That's a sweet one. Looks so sexy. So sexy. Uh, 19 hits tops. This is number 100 out of 150. Oh, there's two of them. This one's also numbered 122 out of 150. 150. A mini right there, uh, like a tobacco card. Sicko. And that's a badass picture, man, too. Love that. That one right there. Uh, 53 reprint. A nice upper deck. Him holding his jersey number seven. Look at his smile. Proud to be a Yankee, man. Appreciated of being there. A Mickey Mano black. Look at that. Sweet, about to just chuck that ball to somebody's balls. Uh, another, the same one, number 97 out of 150. And last but not least, Home Runs 230 Tops Chrome. So tiny. Sicko. Man, it'd be crazy to try to get all these, but I just seem so impossible. Because to get one of um, every numbered home run. Uh, what was that the experiment Tops did? Was it with Alex Rodriguez? 